Huygens principle states that all points on a wavefront are point sources of secondary wavelets that propagate in the forward direction. The new wavefront is the surface tangent to those secondary wavelets. We use Huygens' principle to explain the diffraction and interference patterns formed through single slit, double slit, and gratings. For all of those, we can use the same equation d sine theta equals to m lambda. The d is the width of a single slit or the distance between adjacent slits. The theta is the angle that's measured from the center of the screen. So this will be the theta. And the m is the order number. And the tan theta will equal to y over l. y is the distance on the screen between the patterns. And the l is the distance to the screen. If it's a small angle, let's say 10 degrees or less, then we can say sine theta is about the same as the y over l. For the patterns formed by a single slit, we have a twice as wide and a much brighter central maximum. And then all the other maxima, they are the same size and they're much dimmer as, we go, as it gets farther away from the center. And this is how the intensity look like that matches the pattern on the screen. The central maximum has a much higher intensity than the other maximum. For the double slit, the patterns on the screen are about the same size uh, bright fringes and uh, they have just about the same intensity. For gratings, the pattern is very much like the double slit except for instead of uh, bright fringes, we just see bright spots on the screen. Of course, we have if we, our light source is line source, then we would see bright sharp lines on the screen. For all of those, at m equals to 0, at the center of the screen, it's always a bright fringe. And if we need to figure out, say, for the single slit, if we want the first dark fringe, that means m equals to 1. The second dark fringe is m equals to 2. If we want the first bright fringe next to the central maximum, then it's over here, that means m equals to 1.5. And then the next one will be m equals to 2.5. For double slit, the first dark fringe is in between 0 and 1. So this is m equals to 1 half. This is m equals to 1.5, 2.5. And the bright fringes are the 0, 1, 2, 3. For grating, we don't really talk about dark fringes because we just have bright fringe and then it's all dark in between so we only talk about the bright ones. For grating problems, sometimes instead of giving us the D directly, what's given would be something like 500 lines in a millimeter. In that case, to find the D, we just have to use 1 millimeter divided by 500 to get the distance between adjacent lines. Whether it's a single slit, double slit, or gratings, if we have small angles, then it's kind of convenient because then we would have d, and then we can replace sine theta with y over l, and that equals to m lambda, which means y would be proportional to m. And the theta would be also proportional to m. So for example, if m equals to 1, that's uh, 3 degrees. That means m equals to 2 will be at 6 degrees, 9 degrees. And uh, m equals to 1 half, the first dark fringe will be 1.5 degrees. And uh, if the distance over here, if the angle is small, the distance here is 1 centimeter, then those will be 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters. So they'll be proportional to m. 